This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? <laughs> Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a Bothell Frightwig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow, evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh, I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass-hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch-rivals run my promotional campaign... I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh, no! Oh, no! What, what are you doing? I don't know. I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. Don't even try it! I love that part. Uh-oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become Video Delivery Man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam. I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy. I'll save you. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. I will be number one in the- Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. No! And another one bites the cheese. I wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! 
No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! I don't think Max would like me sticking his head there. I will be universally loved by everyone in the universe. Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh, my. <coughs> Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Oh, uh. Oh, no. He's awake. We're done for. Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay. But what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute eomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Max isn't going to like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. Doc! I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm. My lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. 